What's up guys, Shit here, um, doing this video in the kitchen this morning. Uh, hopefully the light's good enough to where you can see what I'm going to show you. Uh, I have some thrift store stuff here and I have some mail. Um, go ahead and do the thrift store stuff first. Uh, this is from all from one thrift store from yesterday. Uh, today is the, let me check my calendar today the 18th so I got this stuff uh, yesterday on the 17th first up we have this book here Robert Lynn Nelson underwater fantasies it's a really cool book uh, never heard of this guy before but apparently he's an artist and he's a very damn good one some really cool paintings here by this guy. I like his work a lot. Uh, that mark means it's half off the red mark. Uh, so I think it was like 25 cents or something for that book. So that's very cool. And then I picked up this book, True Crime. Uh, like newspaper articles is how they've done the book and it's all the way back from 1800s until like 2000 2008 so very interesting book there half off a dollar so that was 50 cents uh, I got a couple of cassette tapes here first one John Gary it's, uh, sincerely yours I did have this on a record album that was autographed by him now check this out I've never seen this done before John Gary actually autographed the actual cassette tape here uh, it's made out to Lowell and Wanda, Love is All, John Gary. I have never seen that done before where the artist actually autographed the cassette tape. That's bizarre, but very cool. So cassette tapes are always a quarter, so that was a quarter. And I picked up an Elvis tape here. Elvis uh, in Blue Hawaii. Pretty cool. Uh, and then I got the Mad Magazine card game. Paid 50 cents for that. I have not checked uh, to see if this is complete. I will leave it uh, in the description box below if it's complete. It's from Parker Brothers, 1980. Very cool. Hopefully it's complete. And check this out. This is from Funko. Mr. T. Bobblehead paid three dollars for that. Still in the box, very cool. All right, and last but not least, let me pick this up. Second here, I gotta fix this bad boy. Right, sorry about that, guys. Here we go. So this is a Jerry Rice bobblehead. Uh, the face mask had come off. I had to reattach it. Unfortunately, it's not in his 49ers uniform. It's in his later years. Uh, Oakland Raiders uniform. It's got a little bit of damage here at the top of his head, but it is an official bobblehead. It's from uh, Alexander Global Promotions. I paid $2. Uh, they had a Ricky Rice one. Or no, I'm sorry, Ricky Williams. Ricky Rice. Ricky Williams one, but the face mask was missing. Um, 
I might still get it, but I'll wait for like half off day or something like that and pick it up. But love Jerry Rice. Love watching him play. Uh, probably my favorite receiver. So I could not pass this up. Very happy to get this. All right, so that's my thrift store stuff. And now we'll go into the mail. First up, uh, this is coming from Russell Robinson. He's uh, here on YouTube as Hulk Rules. I'm good friends with Russell for a long time. Uh, done lots of trades and purchases and sales with Russ. So he had some things on list yet. Picked them up. And we'll show you what we got. So, first up, we have a little note here from Dave Lewis on his official stationery. You see there from the desk of Dave Lewis. And there's a symbol for his hockey team that he played for. And this says to Russ, thanks for the kind words, Dave Lewis. And it is dated 3-13 of 2002. Uh, this is former pro hockey player Dave Lewis. So very cool. Happy to add that to the collection. Next up. I have a little sign note here from Greg Berg. He is voice actor Greg Berg. And it says to Russ, or hi Russ and Jacob. Hope you enjoy the autograph cards. Not a lot of room, so I did what I could. I'm working out to appear in Detroit at a TMNT karate event uh, in March. The company there wants to break a Guinness World Record for people dressed in Ninja Turtles things. Sounds like fun. Thanks for your kind letter and for watching. Uh, he voiced uh, one or two characters in the TMNT uh, cartoon that was on television. So that was very awesome. And then last but not least, we have this here. This is uh, from Jack Youngblood, NFL Hall of Famer. It says, God bless, Jack Youngblood, Hall of Fame. It should be uh, 1981. Uh, he signed the bottom of uh, Russ's uh, autograph request letter and sent it back. It's a really nice bold signature and blue sharpie. Very cool. So thank you very much, Russ. I appreciate it, buddy, as always. All right, and so mail number two. This is a Facebook trade. NFL sign-in certified card of Hall of Famer Leroy Selman, played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and this is on uh, 1999 Upper Deck SP Signature Edition. I am kind of collecting this set, I say kind of because I don't go out of my way to get the cards, but I just really like the uh, design and everything so I do have three or four of them right now I um, really wanted this card because I've met Leroy Selman back in the back in the mid to late 90s uh, when I had a card store in Florida and uh, he was doing an autograph appearance at a card show in Orlando and I had some things signed but I ended up selling those items so I kind of wanted to have uh, an autograph back from him in my collection so I had an opportunity this this came up uh, from a guy I knew that he had it so I did a trade with him to get it very nice signature very friendly guy at the card show uh, he uh, he is deceased 
So happy to add this to the collection. All right, and then next up, we have from the collection of Stacy Schaefer. Uh, Stacy has some things up on Listia, and I was able to acquire this. This is uh, director John Landis, uh, made out to Stacy here on a number three bicycle uh, playing card. Um, amazing director John Landis. Super, super happy to add this to the collection. Thank you very much, Stacy. That autograph dude, I'm gonna leave his link down below. Give him a sub. Uh, check him out. And then last but not least. This is a Facebook uh, trade. CD. Here it is the Escape from New York soundtrack from John Carpenter. Now I do have this on uh, vinyl, but this came up uh, for sale or trade from a friend of mine. Yeah, this is actually a for sale. I bought this. It's not a trade. This is a Facebook purchase. So this recently came up for sale from somebody I know on Facebook. So and at a good price. So I had to go ahead and jump on it. new expanded edition so that's cool I did not know that so there's uh, extra songs on here which is going to be awesome so it looks like uh, 28 uh, selections whereas uh, the vinyl album I think was only like it was no more than 20 that's for sure I'm thinking it was more along the lines of 12 or 15 That is awesome. Cannot wait to play this. Let's see, this came out. It's not sure when the CD came out. But anyway, happy to get that. And that's everything, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you were able to see everything okay. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. See you.